Hello, we are going to talk about CT dose. When you say CT dose to patient, actually there is no direct measurement on the CT on the measurement on the patient. In fact, the CT dose is estimated based on the phantoms. Phantoms are representative of the, the uh, body and head size and they are used by the physicist to measure say radiation doses from which we estimate the patient dose. When you say patient dose, we normally are interested in estimating effective dose. In order to derive at the effective dose, we do measurement on the, what is called the CTDI 100 from which we measure or estimate other dose descriptors finally arriving at effective dose. Because when a patient asks what is my dose, they typically mean what is my risk. They do not want a physicist to give a bunch of numbers, they want what is my overall risk. And the overall risk is explained by a concept called effective dose, which is at single dose parameters which reflects the risk of a non-uniform exposure in terms of a whole body. There are many methods of estimating the radiation dose in CT. One of the commonly used method is a computer program which uses the anthropomorphic size phantoms which are geometric size organs and also it has this information of the scanner uh, materials or the scanner parameters and one can uh, select the region of the scans and the scanner will output both the organ doses and the effective dose. There are also other methods for calculating radiation dose such as conversion factors. From the information available at the end of the scan, one can use this easy to use conversion factor for coming or estimating some type of effective dose values. Overall, the CT doses display is now uh, can be used to immediately convert information into effective doses. Thank you.